Uncle Lifestyle, what's going on? You're probably wondering to yourself, why is this youth in a snow hat? The reason why, I just wake up, never do my hair, I'm gonna say, yo, you can't bother do my hair. This is the quickest thing, huh? I may have beat it from last night still, because I did the giveaway last night. Respect to the winners that got the seven figures clothing shirts that we did in the giveaway last week. Peeps, I just done up this design. Sheesh, I had to cut that clip a while ago, I was interrupted by a neighbor. So anyways, peeps, watch your vibe now. Fresh Panda is nice, new gear is out, and guess what? You know I'm all about giving away stuff to my supporters, because you guys have been definitely helping me too. Go up, right? So here we are going now. Simple, Fresh Panda is nice, hashtag. Right here, Fresh Panda is nice, hashtag. Don't know, I'm going to choose a winner this Wednesday coming. So, yo, people, if I won't make this intro too long, you don't know how it go already. Big up to my sponsors, Dollar Financial and Miracle Corp, for always coming through. Um, so, watch your vibe now. I'm heading to St. Anne today. I'm going to know on that side. I'm going to link a good friend of mine, well, two in particular Jody Jodes Murdoch and Kenito Murdoch. Yeah, the bird kind of just tripped me out all ago. So, yo, peeps, Jody has been on the scene for quite some time as a female that's into cars and she does racing time to time. I love her passion for vehicles, for motor vehicles, and I love the way how her husband supports her. So, I want to know what is it about motor cars and what it's like being being a racing couple. Is your answer? So, I'm going to get into that. Plus, Kenita, her husband, made what you call a COVID cart. The man put a big motor in a small frame, isn't me? So, anyways, I won't speak about it much. We're going to get into it. By the way, peeps, big up to Cordia Media, Dre and Jamie for being a part of this vlog. They did the cinematics and the, and the interview, and it was awesome. The quality was A1, isn't me? So, big them up to as well. So, yo, we're getting into it now. So, yo, ready? Fresh Panda is nice Yo, <clears throat> lifestyle pretty snow. We have two beautiful Silvias here, two S15s. We have the Spec R and the Spec S. And when I tell you, I love these cars. These are collector's editions, as I always tell you guys. And this one is actually out of Mandeville. This is Jav, the guy that did the artwork for us. So I'm gonna meet him on the vlog right now and get the presentation for pineapple skunk. This is Henry's one. Alright. Can you Henry theme on eh? So this is ja Wow. Bro, is that is this the actual? Yeah the actual car. Yo pre actual that drawing. this is the actual drawing? Mm hmm You see this peeps? This is actual drawing. And that's why we have to big him up. Look on this is a local artist. Big up bro. Respect yeah, man, Henry, Henry, it's a handover, you know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So you see that? Yeah, peeps. So you can look him up. Is Jav? Uh, yeah, um, Jav Will Arts. I'll leave it right Instagram. here. Leave it right here. Yeah, man. Alright, cool. Yeah, man. So we're going to see pineapple now. Mad. <laughs> that looks so real. So look, that right there. Yo, look on that. Detailed. That's so detailed bro. I'm not even just telling you know look on that peeps. Like everything and this is all hand drawn. Yeah, we need to give you guy support. So you don't know. Respect again. Yeah, really love it bro. And I hope you get a lot of recognition from this. I hope everybody like goes and follows his page and support him. You don't know, man. Man, respect me. I, I, 
Yo, what's about it? Yo, this, and the man come on this is very, this is some, this is, this is and some talent. Yo, trust get me. Bad, you know. This is some talent, bro. Trust me, bro. Yeah, yeah man, big up job. Trust me, bro. really love it. This, this is priceless. You want it? Yeah, give me. <laughs> Move your stuff all right. <laughs> Yeah, slow carries. Wasn't that an awesome slow carries? Slow carries, my lose break can awesome. <laughs> slow carry, even slow down the <laughs> Alright, yo, what 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 wait for Jody for power though? Alright, I stand so we just got to Jody's house, so waiting on her to come out, and you, you saw the slow race a while ago between Dre and I. We just do these things to spice up the vlogs, you see me. Also, just want to big up to Seven Figures Clothing for my shirt today. So you don't know, you guys can follow them. Load them up right here, and we're gonna get into the program now. All right, Matt. another location now to get into the tuna lifestyle feature so yeah it's the skunk lifestyle tuna feature so we're setting up to, to get into the feature but Kenita now which is Jody's husband has a project that he's gonna show us later on in the vlog um, Jody was telling us that, um, what do you say? You usually do in the night time? You just draw the whole cart, sketch it out, and midnight him out there just working on it like every single night. I think you did it in a month? The whole yeah. building? A short space mm -hmm. of yeah. time. Yeah. And, and what is it before you show us? It's a COVID card. Co yeah. COVID, COVID card. <laughs> all right. We're not, we're not show them no more till, till them see what I'm going, all right? Right. Yeah. So, yo, people, let me tell you something. We're getting into the skunk lifestyle tuna feature now powered by Corda Amida. So you don't know Jay and Jamie big up yourself for getting into it now. Zin out. I am Jody and Jodes Zidaj Murdoch and um, I'm basically a racer. <laughs> You're a racer, okay, great. Um, where did this passion start? Um, from an early, early age. I would say probably eight eight or nine years old. Um, my dad was involved in motorsports, um, went to Dover a lot, so I always wanted to race. Oh, really? Yes. All right. <laughs> and um, growing up, what kind of cars strike the interest? Ah, uh, the EG, Honda the EG. EG. That's what I wanted as my first car. It didn't happen. I still want one. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's basically what I liked. All right, um, this Evo 10, mm -hmm. what's striking interest about this Evo 10 and what are the mods currently done to it? This Evo 10, um, I love the color. I had a black one before. It was mean, but this one shows up, you know, that monstrous look of the car more than the black that hides everything. Um, I haven't really done any modification much. Exhaust, um, blow off valve, that's about it. Mm -hmm. Everything else is pretty stuck. All right, I mean, I know I asked you about the question of where the passion started, but mm -hmm. how has it evolved being married to a racer? A lot. Pressure. <laughs> um, he wants me to do well and excel. And the funny thing is, um, he actually taught me most of my driving skills. I started at 16, uh, learning to drive, but he helped me to maneuver, you know, the manual stick shift transmission. Mad. <laughs> so you, you guys are pretty much a, a, a racing couple? Yes, definitely. And what's the reception from people on the road, seeing that you guys, you know, always in sports cars? BBC. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm starting to think that's my new name. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, is this something that you want your kids to get into? 
Um, that's a tricky one. Definitely. My mom didn't want me to do this and um, she watched me race for the first time last year and she got so excited and now she's more open to it. I think as a parent, generally, you're nervous about your kids doing it, but if I can do it, they can do it. Great. Drag racing or circuit? Both. All right, tell me why. <laughs> All right, I like drag. It's quick, it's easy, but circuit forces you to um, want to acquire more skill. There's, there's definitely more to circuit than just heading down the quarter mile. I have experience in drag. Um, I was practicing or training to do circuit about eight years ago and just as I started I got pregnant and yeah. Thanks to that Mr. Kid. Murdoch. <laughs> <laughs> and every time I plan to go into the racing fully, here comes another child. Yeah. So maybe I should just sit back and not race. No, maybe you should I have more kids. <laughs> no, maybe you should get, get into it. We need more females in the, yes. in the fraternity. Yes. <laughs> um, what's your next car on your list? Uh, maybe your ideal I... dream car. Um, mm, a GTR. You hear that? <laughs> <laughs> a GTR, and why that platform? Um, I just love the way how it sounds. Um, from what I've seen, the performance is good as well. We can get very good speeds from it, so I like that. You plan to do any modifications to the to the Evo, or you plan to just keep it where it is at right now? I am thinking about it because currently racing this Evo, um, I'm in a 13 second class. I think it can do a whole lot better. Um, the move off is very slow. So maybe I do some modifications on it. So I'm going to ask you a cliche question, but um, what's, what's the advice to other females that you'd like to get them? As in, what would you like to tell them to get involved in the motorsports? I was very afraid stepping into the motorsports world because I wasn't sure if I'd be accepted as a female because it's seen as a man's sport. But the reception is great. Um, I can't complain. Like, you know, the guys will welcome you. You'll feel a whole lot more confident, you know, just racing and, and getting into it. So if you want to race, if you have a car and you want to get into motorsports, go for it. You have any guys that you beat up on the, say for instance, the track Holy. or the road Holy. that, you know, feel a way after you do it? Yes. Um, my first race was about 11 years ago. Um, and to this date, the guy still talks about it. They can't believe. Um, I was driving an EK, a Honda, 98 Honda EK hatchback yeah. at the time. And he didn't expect it. Um, and I have a few videos of some that we've, yeah, that I've eaten. <laughs> but um, most times you hear, oh, I miss gear or, you know, All right. the excuses. I want to get into maybe a little more personal detail, nothing too crazy. But being in a marriage that the both of you share the same passion, what are chit chats at night about? Yes, a lot of cars. We share a lot of car videos. Um, a lot of nights we share the chit chat via DMs or WhatsApp because he's at a garage somewhere and I'm home with the kids. So I get updates via WhatsApp or videos. Um, but the pillow talk is a lot of, wow, you see this? <laughs> <laughs> I did a search the other day through my analytics and I realized about 65% of my followers are males. Yeah. Is that surprising? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I find that it, it inspires a lot of young males as well because they too who are afraid to get into motorsports, I'm like, um, all right, a girl can do it, then if she can do it, then I can do it as well. So aim for the sky. We are our biggest sponsors right now, Z Dodge Performance. Follow us at Z Dodge Performance and Big up to my husband, Ken Starr, who is such an integral part of who I am today and this monster, baby. <laughs> and um, 876 Streets. Big up Skunk Nation. This is my beast and my baby called Bishi. Never back it down Maybe I'm a coach Just stand in my ground So if you're gonna find me Put my 
Just went in, came out of the pool in Jody's car. We're back at their location now. We're gonna take a look at um, Kenito's go kart. Is it me? My thing. Yo, people. Alright, so you guys probably wondering why this little go kart is so fascinating, right? I'm gonna tell you why. This go kart actually has an engine that came out of that right there which is a 660 right yeah 660 raptor engine the man put the the, the quad engine in on the go-kart people is it that the shift on everything right here so mad so yo bro what gave you the inspiration to do this well covid did all of this yeah yeah stay home not have nothing to do so, so I saw it and build a go kart. But tell me why the go kart end up with this engine? Well, it's the only engine I have, so I just make use of it. No, man, you don't tell me why. They, because <laughs> you're putting what you're putting in the quad. 
Oh, I put in an R6. I just put in an yeah, R6, R6 engine, engine in the quad and you got to, to this. So it can start on thing? Yeah, man. Can and start. Get a one and two. See, take a one and two press out right now. Yeah, man, roll out, my G. <laughs> By the way, you know, peeps, Kenny actually has a all-wheel drive Civic, you know. But we're going to come up to do his interview on that one. Switch panel, and no. You build the switch panel too? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you think? Kinda cool, bro. This episode can be to go kart, you see? <laughs> Well, Jody cut you know, so yo, since you don't know your hobby, close out the vlog now. Cool, no? Yeah, man. Big, Big up. up. Skunk Nation, every time. Out. Out.